I am going to explain about uh, BICMOS fabrication process. So this is the top view for the BICMOS fabrication. So in that, this is the side view for the CMOS fabrication, uh, BICMOS BICMOS fabrication process. I will tell you how it will get. This is the BICMOS fabrication process. In BICMOS, we can design that is CMOS transistors plus and bipolar transistors. We know that. What is the CMOS transistors? That is source, gate, drain plus this is the BICMOS fabrication and here we need to design emitter, base, emitter, base, collector. So both you are designing one is MOS transistor, one more is bipolar transistors. If you are designed at a time both CMOS transistor as well as bipolar BJT transistor, bipolar technology, so then it is called as that is by CMOS fabrication process. I will tell you this is the fabrication process. We can see this how it will fabricate it. I will explain anyhow. So left side you can see this in this area. So they are designed that is source gate drain NMOS transistor and PMOS transistor. Right side they are designed BJT bipolar transistor BJT. So this is the symbol for BJT. We know that emitter base collector. So this is PMOS transistor source gate drain. So how the process uh, I will explain. So this is the fabric See, using single substrate they have designed. How we are designing I will explain. So for this by CMOS fabrication so they will take one substrate one substrate either P substrate or N substrate. Any one we can take. So it is if you take P substrate it is having holes. P substrate we have to take. So for that, so I am using the this area, this area, left side area I am need to design that is CMOS fabrication, right side area I need to design for that is bipolar transistor BJT. So both the left side area I am going to design that is MOS transistor fits. So for this, the left side area first I will explain to design. We know that already the process to design that is annual process if you take. So we need to diffuse electrons in this material by heating this material. So this is named as n -well. We are inserted electrons here. So that is named as n -well. This is the n -well. So here to design gate terminals, uh, deposit the polysilicon material. This is the polysilicon material symbol. This is named as gate. Gate 1. Resume. And here also one more transistor is required for that. So deposit the polysilicon material at the silicon dioxide layer middle so this is gate two. so gate one completed gate two completed to design left side transistor insert or diffuse this is p substrate means we need to insert electrons here to design npn transistor or else source gate drain so now we can see this we are inserted electrons here that is named as source and this is named as drain so left side transistor completed here we need to design again n -well. in this use by using n -well, we need to design one more transistor so diffuse the holes already here it is a electrons material so we need to diffuse the holes and that is named as source and gate and drain so two transistors so these are npn nmos transistor this is named and this is pmos pnp pmos transistor that is named so both combination is called as CMOS technology and coming to the right side coming to the right side we need to design bipolar transistor so for that they are formed that is n plus buried layer here that is named as means nothing else here more number of electrons they are uh, inserted diffused that is that is named as n plus buried layer or else this is also named as that is n -well. Well. So here this is uh, named as that is collector, collector. This is named as collector. I need to design NPN trans, NPN BJT transistors. So again they are inserted. So that is holes that is named as P plus base region, P plus base region. So this is named as 
this is named as so again they are inserted electrons for the p plus base region so this is base this is base and this is again we are inserted electrons here here this part so that is named as emitter emitter now we can see this emitter base collector the two types at a time by using single substrate you have designed two transistors at a time that is one is mos transistor one more is that is bipolar transistor so that is the reason uh, this process is called as that is bi bipolar fabrication process left side you have designed mos transistor and right side you have designed that is bipolar transistor bjt the same thing you can observe this so this is an uh, emitter base collector and this is an that is source gate drain transistors so by using single substrate you have designed that so the same thing this is the top view for the only only bipolar transistor so he is not showing in the test book so this is only the bipolar transistor you can see this this is the n plus buried layer and in or else named as n well so that is named as collector and again they are inserted that is holes here that part is named as p plus base and this is again they are inserted electrons that is named as electrons that is emitter emitter base collector so in the test book they are showing only the fabrication process of bjt or else bipolar transistor bjt only bjt bipolar transistor only they are showing but bicmos fabrication means we need to design both source gate source gate drain plus bjt bipolar transistor we we need to design so this is the way they are going to design you can see this bjt how they are designing one substrate they are designing taking it in that by hitting that material they are inserting holes in that place these are the holes named as base and uh, again they are inserted electrons here so that is named as electrons so this process is called as bicmos fabrication process thank you